Welcome back, everyone. We're joined with Chef Alex from Catering by Design. Thanks for joining us morning, this morning. Morning, how are you? I'm Good. doing well. How are you doing? Good. Good. Nice and rested. Back from Las Vegas, right? I did. I went to Vegas for the weekend uh, uh, last week. Mm -hmm. um, I try and go this time of year every year only because they have a food event every year. It's called Vegas Uncorked okay. um, by Bon Appetit, and you get to go and taste from 100 different restaurants and, and bars, you know, cocktails, appetizers, anything and everything they have. And it's, it's really a, it's a cool event. So it's like a Vegas dream for chefs, right? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> and and every, you know, everybody's there, all, all the people you see on TV, the famous chefs, you know, they're, they're all there to show their face, of course. Awesome. So, but, uh, and from what I understand, you're bringing us one of your favorites. Well, one of my, this is event. one of my favorites, you know, I saw a lot of this at, at the show and also, you know, before a lot of, there was a lot of Vietnamese restaurants in Vegas, every, okay. almost on every corner almost. But now it's becoming popular are Japanese noodle houses. Okay. So that's what we're going to kind of fix today is basically, you know, a ramen noodle recipe, which we think of junk food, you know, 10 right. cents a packet, right. college, <laughs> you know, college, that's what you eat in college, but this is a little more, you know, So a this more. is like gourmet ramen noodles. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So what do we need? What are our ingredient lists? So I have a, here I have a, a pork broth that I made earlier. Okay. I have uh, noodles, these are called udon noodles, so a little bit thicker than your normal ramen noodle. Okay. I have crispy pork, bamboo shoots, green onions, a little uh, uh, sugar and soy sauce and vinegar to add to the broth. Okay. And then uh, some mushrooms and... Uh, and what kind of mushrooms are these? They look these, are, these are brown beach mushrooms. Okay, brown beach mushrooms. Can you get all of this at your local supermarket? You can, yeah, and actually most of this I got at uh, the fresh uh, mushrooms at the Asian market on Catalina. Asian market on Catalina. Oh, okay, perfect. And the noodles as well? And noodles as well, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Good. It all looks amazing. And so uh, we are going to have this recipe list for you guys on Facebook. And then coming up, you can see them right there. We're going to put all of this together and show you guys what you need to do to make this. Right? So Christy and I are really excited because Chef Alex is teaching us how to make udon noodles. Udon noodles. Right. Yeah, udon, udon noodles are basically glorified, you know, ramen, you know, glorified gourmet, ramen noodles. Right. So we're taking it up noodles. to the next level for you guys today. And this is actually a recipe that Alex is bringing to us from Vegas, where it was Vegas Uncorked, right? It's a big event where lots of chefs go. A lot of chefs go, a lot of different, uh, so much. Put on food. by Bon Appetit? Bon Appetit, yeah. So, so many one different spot. food items, so many different cocktails, what, you name it, it, it was there. All right. So this is one of his favorites and he's going to tell my us favorites. how to make it. And so basically, you know, it's a lot healthier than eating the packet ramen noodles because okay. I made out my own broth. I seasoned it instead of having that pat well, those preservatives that, right. that it usually has. High okay. in sodium as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's going to so, be even better. <laughs> okay. So what? Here I have the noodles, udon noodles, which is a little, little thicker noodle than, than the normal ramen. Okay. Uh, but there's, there's okay. different varieties, but we're using udon today. Okay. So we have that here. I already just pre, uh, pre cooked pre -cooked that. Pre cooked some for us. So, so now, how long would they need to cook those? This was about a minute and a half in boiling water. Okay, minute and a half. Well, oh, that's yeah, super very easy. Yeah. Simple. Okay, so we put our noodles in, yeah. and then here our broth. Here I have here I have the pork broth okay. I did earlier. I added some uh, brown beech mushrooms. Okay. We'll add a little bit. This is a, a little bit of um, a tablespoon of vinegar, rice wine vinegar, soy sauce, and sugar. Okay. A tablespoon of each, and we're just gonna put a little of that just for seasoning. Okay. okay. I'm paying attention intently here because my family has a running joke that I can't even boil water. <laughs> so this is going to be really interesting and I even get to taste a little bit today. So I'm excited. Right. We well, after this, this, you will at least be able to boil water. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have that. We'll see. I don't know if my culinary skills are going to be that good, but with Chef Alex here, who knows? Yes, definitely. Okay, so what else so are we here putting I'm on here? So here I'm a little bit of bamboo shoots in there. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to put our broth over that. The broth over the top, just kind of heat the noodles. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Makes it so artistic. I know. He always makes everything look so pretty, all the presentation. I know. So I love that. We have the crispy pork. Okay. The best part, I think. Okay. And so whenever you cooked that, did you do anything special to it? I did uh, a little salt, pepper, and oil, and just made it nice and crispy. Okay. Go. Okay, some very onions. good. Okay, and too, if you guys want to learn how to cook like Alex, he actually has some cooking classes that um, are coming up. We've got those dates for you that we can show you right now. Uh, he's, how, what, what all do you have coming up? At Tina's Cocina. You've been to the, the Cocina right, to, for tomorrow classes, actually, and, and oh. over the holidays. Uh, this, coming up June 7th, we have, uh, uh, we're going to be going over sushi and Asian fusion items. Okay. Oh. It's going to be real fun. It, it's lot, you've been there. That's lots of fun. And then uh, in July, we have... Uh, 
a class mixology and, and appetizers. That'll awesome. be fun. So we'll be mixing drinks, showing people how to mix drinks, you know. Okay. okay well, we do have that information for you. Sorry, it's not up. We'll have it on our Facebook later whenever we put the recipe and everything for you. Um, but, okay, so Christy, we're going to put you in the hot seat. Okay. And we're going to have try. her test this out and let us know what she thinks. She's even going to use chopsticks. I'm going to use some chopsticks. Boil water yeah. and use chopsticks. You're going to rock yeah. it today. All right. I'm going to bring it closer to me because it's going to be a little bit warmer. But here we go. Let's okay. give it a quick try. Oh, And so do you like mushrooms noodles. and everything? Me? Oh, yeah. I have no diet restrictions or anything like that. So I, I like all kinds of foods from all different places. So we're really enjoyable. Here it goes. It's a little bit easier to grab. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. That's so tasty. <laughs> very, very good. Much better than the packaged ramen noodles. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So I'm sure. going to have to go and finish this on the break. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks for joining us, guys. We're going to be back in just a bit with your weather. And Alex, thanks for joining You're us. You're welcome. As well. Thank you. So good. <laughs>